Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. Doesn't the Tacoma just pop in Voodoo Blue? 2020 TRD Off-Road in Voodoo Blue looks so good. So that, with what I'm about to tell you, has rekindled my thoughts on the Tacoma. Another one that I did test drive today, I actually finally test drove a 2020 Tacoma. It was this one right here, magnetic gray metallic, uh, no premium package or anything like that, but it did have a six foot bed. And that is something I never considered before in the Tacoma. They look all right stock, but if you were to you know level it out, make it look good, bigger tires, they look awesome. And you're pretty close to done because TRD off-roads come with a lot of amenities, right? But then my sneaky friend salesman, Chris, starts running numbers on old faithful here the little rav4 that could and he starts running numbers on it so this is a lease if you guys don't know who are new to the channel and we have about seven months worth of payments this thing didn't hold its value that well which is fine so if we were to trade it in we'd, we'd be eating a, a couple thousand dollars worth of uh payments which would roll into a tacoma that holds its value better so at the end, you kind of it's kind of a wash. For me, when I started to think about numbers and stuff, we were thinking about an older truck. I was thinking about an older truck, if I had to get a loan for it, plus insurance, let's say ballpark, you're somewhere near $100 a month with insurance and a potential loan uh, for like a $6,000 truck. I wouldn't pay cash for a $6,000 truck just in case the truck breaks down so you have that cash. But if I'm like, if I'm paying $100 to $150 more for this truck, and there's this payment of the little RAV4 that could, it doesn't really have any showtime on the channel just because it, it's not like a cool car. I mean, it, it's, it's a good car, but it's not like a cool, cool car. If I could take the RAV's payment, whatever it is right now, you know, ballpark, let's potentially raise it by 80 to $100 because of a Tacoma. And now I have something for the channel and it's a win-win for us because we get a truck, granted it's not a full-size truck, but we get a truck for truck things have the forerunner, more content. In my brain, it's saying yes right now. And I know I do have some viewers that said, do not get a Tundra because it's old and outdated. We don't care about the Tundra. I've had some viewers that said, John, don't get a Tacoma. There's tons of channels for the Tacoma now. And other viewers that also said, John, think outside of Toyota. Guys, I have <laughs> because I want to. I love Toyota, but I do want this channel to flourish to other cars because I love other brands which I may go to the GM dealership and look at the AT4. But what I'm trying to get at is that the type of build that I would do on the Tacoma is an everyday guy's build. If you guys look at the 4Runner, it's practical and cheap. So if we went with an SR5 Tacoma, one, stupid affordable, very affordable, and good residual value for when you trade it back in at the end or middle of the lease. Everyone just seems to have an off-road. And when you really get an off-road all said and done, guys, it's almost a $40,000 truck for a small little truck. It's not a full-size truck. It is a little truck for $40,000, which is absolutely insane. I would like your opinions always bounce back and forth. I really do appreciate what my viewers have to say and their ideas and thoughts about things. Ultimately, an older truck would be great. I just need something a little reliable because I don't want my wife to just be broken down somewhere with it when we're doing more and more uh, home renovation projects with future houses that we do. So having something that's new and reliable would, would be more ideal. So guys, if you're new around here and this guy didn't make sense, please feel free to subscribe to try to figure it out as I figure it out. And I will catch you all in the next one. All right, see you later.